trying to spice things up around here. A lemon. Yo, yo, welcome to the No Limit Podcast, also known as the No Sinning Godcast, here with the Son and Holy Spirit, Eddie Bull, and your father, No Limit Eddie. What up? What's going on, dude? Fucking bang an intro. <laughs> Bro, I didn't expect it to go down like that, honestly. I didn't think you had it in you. Damn, you didn't think it was going to be tough like nah, that? Nah, you went no limit. You didn't hold back. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Listen, drinking Coors Light's in my blood, son. <laughs> <laughs> and a wife beater to top it all off, looking like I should be drinking Coors Light. I hear you. No, it was good. I'm ready. Now I'm in the mood. I was getting sleepy on you waiting there with all the lights and stuff. All right. Now As I'm, promised, I'm voted on my Instagram poll, today's outfit, dress pants, <laughs> wife beater. That was good. All right. Tell them the topics, dude. You've been forgetting. I'm done with it. All right. I'm going to pull together here. We got... Uh, what's the best decade? If we know, if we can travel in time, what decade would we go back to? Who dates up, women or men? And we'll right. get into that when we talk about it. And the third one was... Come on, I'm going to let you give it. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to let you dig down deep right, and on. go find it. <laughs> what did I say already? I said time... Tra- no, Where would we travel back to? What decade we... Tra- or what, pe- what period in time we travel back Who to? Who dates up? Who dates up? Men or women? And I'll, Bro, give, you I, 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 I'll I, give you a hint. I couldn't fucking tell you. Oh, our art is better with or without drugs. One day I'm going to get, I'm going to get, get the, the topics, topics down. down. But dude, every time we start, I don't know, maybe I should stop eating the edible before we start and I should just go in sober. I don't know yeah. what it is, but I, I blank my mind on everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which no one limit. you want to start with? Now you finally got them. Do you think artists need drugs to be creative? Or no, I, I guess not creative. You can still be creative, but like to be the best, like to have like the best, like, to craft the best product. Well, do you think the doors would be as good if Jim Morrison wasn't a nut? My original question to you when we came up with this topic was like, would they be the same without it? And honestly, I do think that like if you put artists that do drugs versus artists that don't, the group of artists that do drugs are better. Name me one that doesn't. Name me one monumental artist that isn't linked to drugs. Well, there's probably one that's blatantly straight edge that I can't think of. But there probably is somebody that's really good that is, like, straight edge. Knows that they will never do any drugs. Pretty sure um, but you can't think some of one. EDM guy. I know, like I that. can't think of one. I'm saying, oh, like... Oh, yeah, I can't think of one off the top. No way. I don't know. I feel like EDM might be different. But I feel like it's still, like... And not only, not only drugs, I also feel like it also goes hand-in-hand hand with, like... Uh, psychological problems too mm-hmm. like a lot of like the, the most like screwed up people in the head usually make the most like the best art could be true but i think that I there's think like an there's an it. argument to say that people get in their head that doing drugs is going to make you more creative it's going to make you more of something and i don't know if that's necessarily true i think that you could be just as good without ever doing it I heard something somebody said one time about psychedelic drugs in particular. Somebody was asked, like, do you regret or, like, are you happy about that you used psychedelic drugs because of whatever it made you find out about yourself or whatever you felt during that time? And his answer was really good. He said, honestly, I'm not happy about it because after I've gotten off of them, I realized that I would have learned all those lessons that I thought I learned because I did drugs. I would have learned them throughout life anyway. No, I think drugs plays. I feel like he's he's even wrong about that. Like I feel like drug. Like if you're doing drugs to that degree, like it's gonna, it's gonna like put your life on a certain path as if you didn't do drugs. You know what I mean? I don't think you're gonna yeah. end up in the same spot. Mm-hmm. Like if you're on drugs that heavy, it's gonna change your cor- the course of your life. I think in and, some in, in some way. And it becomes what you make music about once you get sure. into that lifestyle. It yeah. becomes what you make paintings about it becomes what you write about it becomes throwback to uh all that episode one of the podcast and we uh debated eminem and mac miller 
Right. Um, both artists who have yeah. substance abuse problems. But I didn't want to get too much into Mac Miller because we did that on the pod before. Right. But I'm but just saying, like, it is a good example. A like example. somebody who was just like just making music before he was doing drugs and started doing drugs, and then all of his music became about drugs, and he got better. And for that dude specifically, when he first came out and was just like a young rapper kid, yeah, maybe smoked weed. Yeah. I didn't fuck with him one bit. That's just me personally. And then when he did get into his drugged out stage of those albums, I loved them. So that's one that I would definitely say he was way better on it than off of it. At the time, I liked it, but like going, like I don't listen to like Blue Slide Park. I think it's corny. You yeah. know what I mean? But like his other, his like Faces is all about being on drugs. And Although that's great. maybe a guilty pleasure song, um, Loud by Mac Miller, is fire. Uh, loud yeah, is on. Play my music uh, that's real a mixtape song. That song. Yeah, that John's fire. Wear my hat. <laughs> Wear my hat. No, nah, nah, yeah, there's like, especially like uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Like, the biggest artists of that time period were on heavy drugs. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like today where, like, the biggest artists, like, today are who are like Beyonce, Billie Eilish. Like, they don't, like, scream, like, hard, heavy drugs. But, like, in the 70s, you had, like, Keith Richards, like, heroin, uh, Jimmy Page, heroin, uh, Jim Morrison's all drugs. Kurt Cobain was on heroin. Keep going, bro, because I don't know shit Literally about artists. Every the 70s. eighty, like all eighties hair metal bands are all about like getting girls and partying at their shows. Like everybody was doing drugs or or, or drinking alcohol. Everybody. There's really not any artist that I can think of that was completely sober or didn't have like drug or alcohol influences in their art or music that exist. I can't think of any of them. And I've asked a couple people like in anticipation of this topic because we talked about it earlier, and yeah. no one can give me one. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could go no limit and be like, Who do you "What does Cardi fish? B do?" No, <laughs> like I don't know. You could you could easily find artists like it depends because then you're getting into a, a larger argument of like, what do you mean by artists? Because there are some artists that are out there that are considered artists that maybe we just don't like or we don't know that definitely don't do any type of drugs and they're probably talented yeah but you don't know about them like there's artists that i don't yeah. even like that i just know about because they're at the top but like of the i game. just said mainstream people like i like cardi b that's somebody who people think is an artist but what drugs does she do you don't know what she does behind closed doors, bro. Yeah, she might like smoke weed or something, but we're sitting here talking about people doing hardcore drugs like coke, heroin, psychedelics. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I think that it influences your art to such a degree that you make way better stuff. It expands what your mind. Who was Bobby Brown on? Crack? Yeah. Yeah, that's a craziest, craziest drug. Crack's wild. Yeah. But Smoking crack. Imagine that. <laughs> tweaking out all like yeah. 80s and 90s rap is all about crack like selling every, crack selling crack but like that's because that's what was going on at the time but it's yeah. it still influences your art and, Ew, and, yo, can and i just say i hate the smell of beer and now it's in my beard yeah it's coarse too which sucks yeah, stink. Bro, coors no limit fire. instant beef with coors coors is probably the worst beer i enjoy a coors light to be honest nah bro. i'd rather drink a bud light I'm way better at doing the podcast off a of Coors Light than I am without it. <laughs> well, two Coors Light to admit, and then sitting down starting a podcast, I'm sure you're gonna feel a little bit. Loose. I am a little. I am That's feeling what... a little something right now. Shout out to my boy Steve Lawson. I know you were feeling it in that ring, and you still put on for the crowd. Yeah, Steve Lawson. If would Steve do Lawson like ever sees this and rates how good my smashing two beers and drinking it was, I might die right there. I think Steve Austin, for a fan service, would give you like a ten. But really, it was like a it was like an eight point eight. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. Like I'm saying, it wasn't like a full blown ten. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow you that much. But yeah. it was like an eight point eight. Yeah. It was pretty solid. You didn't like you didn't hesitate. You didn't hold up. You went for it. Yeah, bro. To be honest, I I felt like we were gonna have more argument about this, but I really I agree with what you're saying. It's pretty hard to find artists like that are relevant that I'm only tr- cuz I'm, I'm and I'm only saying that because drugs. yeah I'm sure there is like I said I was joking around saying like Hootie and the Blowfish I'm sure that dude wasn't like doing hardcore drugs you know, maybe yeah. he was but like for timeless acts of music or artists they either they're either psychologically screwed up or they're they have heavy substance abuse problems all of them and even like the Beatles they weren't they might not have been like heavy and like publicly screwed up but they were all 
on LSD and stuff. Yeah, and you know what? No limit. That dude who said that thing about never would have figured his shit out, about how he would have figured the shit out if he didn't do psychedelics, you were dead wrong. Bro. Yeah, I'm cool. There's, I, I try my best to throw your little statement in and, and create some type <laughs> of contrast to talk on my podcast, but honestly... Wherever you are, you're a dead idiot. Yeah, you're Honestly, dead. Honestly, no let's it's fucking get off this topic. Every <laughs> artist, if you create anything, do your fucking drugs. Make whatever you want and do whatever. Like, that dude's an idiot. Whatever. Do drugs. Skip that. Do drugs. Boom. Move on. Next thing. Oh, let's go. Who, who, tries to who tries to date up harder, men or women? Women. I agree. <laughs> Tell me Next why topic. first. <laughs> Next topic. Move on. Nah, uh... I don't know because they do. Like they, I feel like they have way more requirements. I was kind of talking about it before we st before we started. You know, they 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 want somebody who's six two, who's strong, sh strong jawline. His beard needs to connect. Can smash two beers together. Can smash two beers together before his podcast in one take. You know right. what I mean? Like I saw, they have a lot of requirements. Yeah. What's a that dude is want? True. What's a dude want? You know, out of, out of like a, out of like a, and we're talking what. Like dating, so like getting into a relationship. Mm -hmm. What does a dude want? Whatever. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess. At the some end of the day, it's like that. it's it's but it, it just don't bother me with dumb shit. Yeah. And I'm gonna sit here and you know watch something on TV or now watch you, a movie and don't. Now you're me. going based off the pure criteria that each gender wants for their significant other you're going off that i'm kind of playing in the stereotypes a little bit too yeah what made what made me even think about it is i'll say this and the example i'm going to give is just an example that you can apply to a lot of different situations but the one i'm going to give you'll get it you'll get why i see that women try to date up more often or try to date up harder than men do i'm at the casino in line to cash out right cash out my chips so there's a guy in front of me he's like an older guy probably like 50 something 60 something years old chubby dude like he ain't good looking like yeah. you know he's out of shape whatever the girl checking him out basically fits the same description about 50 60 years old little bigger you know don't look that good like just looks like average old lady neither of them got a wedding ring on their finger the dude tips her ten dollars tells her like you look nice tonight or something and i could just tell by the way that the lady reacted that she kind of like blew him off like, uh, like, okay, whatever. What However, would you she rate both of these people that, that for context? Almost. Just so I have it in my head, what would you If rate? I had to give them like an out of 10? Both of them, yeah. Like, as me or as like a 50 year old person? No, like, what would you describe them as? Just so I have it in my head. Oh, like, like a out visual. of 10? Oh, they're probably both like 4.4s. All right, so they're almost at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, they're, head, they're way down there. Okay. But they're like 50, 60 years yeah, old yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And both, like I said, no wedding ring on the finger from either one. Dude tries to be nice, tips her $10, says, like, have a good night, have a good weekend or something. Like, you know, trying to talk. Yeah. And she kind of blows him off. I forget her exact response, but she blew him off. And it sparked in my head that, like, lady, I don't know what you're expecting to come by in, in the rest of your life period. But I'm telling you right now that that guy is pretty close to the best you're going to get. Like, see, but you don't you're think... 60 years old. You're, you're alone right now is what I would say. You don't have a wedding ring. And, and yes, I understand. Everybody's got their own choice to make. Maybe she didn't like the guy. I don't have a problem with if she just didn't like the guy. But what I'm saying is I feel like women are in that situation more than men are where they, where they just get approached or get, uh, have an encounter with a guy that is honestly right in their range of like what they should be shooting for, but they shoot them down as if like, no, I'm out of your league. But you're really, but you're not. Now, do you think that happens because when she was young, maybe she wasn't a 4.4, maybe she was a 8.6, and she would have to bat dudes off left and right that were just trying, that were just saying dumb shit to her to get at her? I don't think that only because just, I it, think if she was an 8.6 when she was younger, she would probably be married at this point. Not necessarily. And you don't know that she's not single. Or you don't know that she's uh, not in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't know that. Yeah. There is actually a lot of older boyfriend-girlfriend scenarios in, like, the casino world. <laughs> yeah, really I, can is. I can imagine there that. Is. <laughs> yeah, there is. Like, no not limit. married, like, older people <laughs> together. That is true. But it just... It's not even necessarily that I'm hating on her for that specific scenario. Because, like I said, she might just say, like, I don't like this dude. But I just... That sparked in my head the thought of... Women are in that situation a little bit more than men are, where they're like, 
where they turn down something that probably is right in their range. Whereas a guy is more likely to, he would, I feel like a guy would even take something lower than, than his range. Now, for the most part, I would agree with this. I'll see if you do. Dudes who are heavier have smaller girlfriends or like in shape girlfriends more so than out of shape women with in shape dudes. Oh yeah, that's 100%. So that's women who are, you know, settling for settling on paper. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not factoring in like true love or they have a great like connection. You know, I'm not I'm not factoring, I'm just talking about looks. Yeah. Like she's settling for somebody who's out of shape and not taking care of themselves. Yeah. Traditionally, like men can get away with not being like in the best shape but still get a girl of like a 8 or higher. Yeah. On this on the 10 scale. And don't forget why we even talk about things like this cuz it's the no limit podcast. A lot of dudes would be scared to say some of the shit that we're saying right now for I'm fear not of like afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to fight all like, Eminem's fans. But, but you really ain't saying nothing that's not like everyone knows these things are true. Like you can play the games like, oh, you're nah, being bro, I was kind of warming up because I was about to say something that maybe some people are going to oh, be we're like, gonna say yeah. now I'm interested. I've heard before your example that you just gave about yeah. um, how you'll see a girl with like an overweight guy before you see a guy, a guy normal weight with an overweight girl. Yeah. And I've heard... And it's only you here to say whether you've heard it back or not. But I'm sure if a woman was here, she would have a different opinion. I've heard that usually that scenario is because the girl wants somebody who's secure and isn't going to cheat on her. Because he, she knows that he's lower than her on the pedestal. So he's not going to cheat and lose being with somebody who's above. I That's what you, I've heard. I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that, which was women choose somebody who can protect them, a bigger person. No, nah, that's I don't where I thought you were going to go with we that. We ain't in 1775 anymore, bro. It's but it, it, that's just that's just we got that Glock for that. That's just nature. <laughs> like that's just like in like that's just primal. That's like a primal thing. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying it's true for everybody, but it's definitely true to some degree. I think. Um, what you're saying, I feel like I've heard that. That's not like a foreign concept you know what i mean like that's definitely that's definitely yeah. true to some degree you know what i mean and i'm sure there are anomalies of dudes that are in that same situation a dude just rolls reversed yeah that we don't know about just like there's people artists that do drugs that don't do drugs that are talented we don't know about but i think by and large it's, it's like that for sure you know what i mean what happened oh, shit the what? phone died no Oh, we're all good? Word. All right. No technical difficulties. No Please, technical, no technical difficulties. difficulties I'm going to just drop this whole water on this box. That would have been a fucking technical difficulty. That would have been the end of the podcast for like a few months, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that one's like 1,200, bro. No limit. That one's 24. Come on, dude. Uh, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think it's close, but I would say women probably date up higher. And I really do think that they just yeah, have more requirements, a, especially when it comes to marriage, dude. They, yeah. they, they need to make, guys need to make a certain amount of money. You know, you got to have a car. You got to be able to provide. You got to have savings. You got to have, you know, the crimson yeah. chin. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what I mean? So I and I, I just the think titanium the titanium toenail. Titanium. <laughs> but like, what does like? Yo, we've gotten a couple good things going by. We had the ambulance, the cops, all that. That's like the third car car that went by, wasn't it? Yeah. Something's, like, something's going on, no limit. Who knows what's going on? So, so far, we've solidified that artists who do drugs way better than artists who do Artists who do drugs are better than artists that don't do drugs. One, that's your first takeaway that's from just this the first episode. Takeaway. And podcast. then women, who, women date up. And men don't. More often than men. More, more often than men. And honestly, like, you can argue with me about this because this is our topic for this week, but we obviously both have the same opinion. I would love to hear somebody's opinion who thinks the opposite, honestly. Because I don't think that it's guaranteed 100% that I'm right. I feel like there might be scenarios or aspects of it that I'm not even thinking about that somebody else would think about and maybe sway me the other way. 
Yeah, but I really can't see that happening. I really don't. I feel like we like. I feel like, I feel like what you said it. was the most honest part of it all that you can't dispute that they have more requirements. They they definitely have the more requirements. Least, that's a fact. More requirements. That's it's it's one hundred percent a fact, and that's going back to what I said. It's like primal, like like women just do not waste time with dudes who are going to be nobodies or like they can't provide for anything or anybody. Mm-hmm. Like just in their nature. You know, women are the nurturers, men are the providers. Like, I'm not saying it's set in stone, but that's just how life has always been. And people, like people, you can you can argue that or not, but that's traditionally how things go. Mm-hmm. Now, traditional way of living is like dying. I get that, and it's like d- being done away with, but it's still around, and it's still the majority of how people live. So even though it's not technically probably the way of the future, it's still the way of life as it is. So I think until that's changed, it's going to continue to be that way. Where do you think we're headed with relationships in general in the future? They're not even going to exist. I think so too. I think I don't, I don't think marriages are going like to exist. Marriages and long-term relationships. Do you think will you're going to get married? With. Like, do you think you're going to get married? I don't even know, bro. I don't know either. I don't even <laughs> know, bro. <laughs> yeah, she's about, to, she's about to fly out the top row, Jimmy <laughs> Snuka. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course I am. I am. <laughs> that is. <laughs> yeah, but no, I don't think relationships will exist the same way. Like being the being with one person for sixty five years, I just don't think it's gonna. Yeah, eventually somebody's gonna take a stand and say that's retarded. But I'm just not ready to do it. How yet. many people? How many people do you know? All right, that are, to, are they might be together for fifty years, but how incredibly happy are Bro, they together? No limit. That shit is like an anomaly. Yeah, sometimes you got fucking Tommy and Annalise that were together from 15 to 70 That's and they're still holding hands other. all the way to the grave. Yeah. Sometimes you got that. But you don't see but that. But for the most them, part, that's why, like, save it for the movies. That's why like when you see it, girls go, oh, it's so cute. Like when they're like holding hands or something, they're like at the movies because like, you really do not see that. They turn curmudgeonly they get cynical, <laughs> you know. Both parties, the man it's and the woman, all day, all day long. Instant beef. Everything. Shut up, shut up, fat man. You know, <laughs> shit like. Oh, you couldn't do the dishes, just like you couldn't lose them ten pounds, Fred. <laughs> you never took me out on that night ten years ago, and I haven't forgotten. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> See, and like, why would you want to live that? Yeah, I wouldn't. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. That's the thing. But like, you're not supposed to divorce. You didn't make me a coffee? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Bro. 50% of marriages end in divorce. Dude, and the percentage is getting higher. 50% of marriages end in divorce, and the percentage is getting higher. And people are still getting I think you married. spend enough time with anyone, you'll eventually hate them. Yeah. You need a healthy balance. Yeah, for real. That's you why you need to have nine different anyone. girlfriends at once, and they just got to allow it. My man, <laughs> with dudes way back in the... Um, pyramid errors they had it down they had like five chicks that were just cool with it that's so crazy there's just less people though there's probably dudes right now in the middle east that got five chicks that are cool with it dude there's people in fucking texas that got five <laughs> chicks that are cool with it. there's people on 30 <laughs> <laughs> was you ever see those mormon nah, shows lou bro williams. shout those out mormons. lou williams for real he does he lou williams yeah. the g hopefully that's fr- no limit right hopefully there. friend of the podcast one day lou williams every time we mention him you gotta do that (laughs) i like that the tagline but wait dude that's no but when you those mormon shows though no yeah when you were saying that the thing about it is that every time you try to compare them two things when people talk about it nobody even knows what to do because they can't figure out which side even likes to do more what what do you mean I just said, when you talk about them two things, you can't figure it out because nobody even knows what side likes to do more what when it comes down to laying the bricks in the garage overnight. I don't know what the fuck you're saying right now. I have no idea. This guy serious? Like, we weren't just talking about that the whole time. What? How, when those two things get compared, you don't even know how... To go about what? talking about those two things when you don't know which one of them can do the job at the garage laying the bricks. Yo, am I tripping, bro? Or are you speaking in like a code? <laughs> bro, I don't know. Are you fucking with me, dog? I really don't know. <laughs> what two Dude! things? What two things? <laughs> what two things? At the garage with the bricks! <laughs> 
Fuck off. When people talk about those Fuck two off. things, they don't know which of the two likes to do it more. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't have the slightest clue. All right, then. Move on to the last topic <laughs> if you can't remember. It's not my fault. <laughs> what decade would you travel to? Or what, what time period would you travel to if you had Dude, a time I can't machine? believe you just fucking mind farted like that, but whatever. I really we'll, don't know what you're talking right, about. We'll move on. Fine. Um... If, <laughs> I said one, two things, bro. <laughs> Wait, no limit. I got a story for this for this topic. Well, for what topic? The new for the, one. For the new one, yeah. Um, we're off the garage. Um, <laughs> one time, I said in front of it, it was like me. I was at a poker table with like me, a couple other people, and there was probably like no no limit. This rare, rarely happens at like a poker table or in any setting, honestly, be, because like white people are the majority, black people minority, Asian people minority, like, right? So at a poker table, you're normally gonna have more white guys than you have black guys or more white guys than you have Asian guys. But at this one particularly, there were more black guys than Why white guys. Why is that, do you think? Just because I feel like that's just, in every social setting, it just somehow is that way, you know? I don't... And you're there a lot, so you have a pretty good, strong yeah. sample size. Yeah, and I'm talking about... Yeah, and when you talk about poker in general, it definitely is normally more white dudes than there is, like, black dudes or Asian dudes. But at this one particular table, there were more black dudes than white dudes. And I said something about... Like, not even thinking as a joke, I was like, man, I should have been born in the year 1864 or something. And the one dude goes... <laughs> Record scratch. <laughs> and, and the one dude goes, yeah, when they had slavery... And I was like, uh, uh, hold on a second. And I pulled out my phone and it was actually funny because whatever year I said was like the very next year after Lincoln looked that up for me when Lincoln signed. Nah, bro. I chose yeah. that year because it was the first year without yeah. slavery. When Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation was 1863, I think. So I looked it right up on my phone and was like, yeah, like, no, I was, I was in the year right after that. That terrible fucking travesty. That's when I should have been born. <laughs> to be the guy to end it for good. <laughs> but no, that was a funny story about that. But honestly, if I could travel back to any time, if you're not letting me travel forward, I would I don't know. You, do we, you could travel forward, I guess. That's not Well, you don't know. Well, you can't give reasoning for traveling forward because you don't know what's going to happen. You might yeah, be like, I'll travel like, to 2200. Just, it'll be fire. Maybe the whole see. world's on fire yeah, and nobody's true. here. I would go to I would probably go back to when they were whenever it was they were building the pyramids in Egypt dude that's what I was gonna say just because I wanna know what was going on over there that's what I wanna the say the mathematics of all that stuff seems like something they shouldn't have had figured out at that point follow any ball on TikTok but I saw a TikTok earlier that we didn't invent Wi-Fi we discovered it and Wi-Fi actually like ancient, ancient Egyptians had some kind of primitive Wi-Fi that they that got lost in time. Which was what though? What they, did they, they connect they to Wi Fi? There, there was like water tunnels in the pyramids that somehow sent like a, a shock wave and the pyramids were basically towers. They were like connection towers for ancient Egypt. That's interesting. Yeah, so I never but thought what about devices heard about. were they connecting? We don't know. I mean they got wiped clean. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's an interesting theory. But yeah, I would definitely go back to ancient Egypt just because I think that not only is it interesting, but like it was a thriving civilization that like had r like riches like we do today, but it's thousands of years old. I also want to know just about reverse time travel in general. Like I would love to know from from all the eras, like what ideas got like next? What ideas were out there that maybe could have like gone forward in human history as like a new idea? But they just got wiped out. That idea got shut down. Or just like all the knowledge that's just been like it just got it's misinterpreted just away. by now. Not misinterpreted, but not even like it's like the knowledge that they had that got lost in time. Like it was written in a book somewhere, but the book got destroyed and it was just gone forever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like some knowledge that somebody discovered is just gone because it just it just got it was just it was just gone. It didn't it, it wasn't recorded properly or whatever. That, I, that I, I find that interesting a lot yeah, too. Yeah, there's probably so many scrolls and stuff that, that are just gone. Are just gone. Just now. gone completely. But that probably means so much to the world. Remember that guy in grade school showed us like a piece of wood and he told us it was from the cross. I think. Did you think for one second that it was really from the cross, or do you to this day think that anybody has a piece of wood from the cross? So, 
this could be completely wrong, but I was told in my youth that every altar or tabernacle, whatever whatever it was in the church, had a piece of the cross on it. There is no I don't way. Know, I don't know if that was like no, like it might not have been like a real piece of the cross, but like just a piece of wood that like symbol, like you know, the fuck, it's not really Jesus's blood, but it symbolizes blood. Like you know, yeah. they just like throw, throw some wood in the altar. No, but I specifically remember that the janitor of our school, yeah, like held it, brought the piece. No, and he got fleeced. Said that it was it's probably seventeen ninety nine at the fucking Bethlehem gift shop, and he got fleeced. It probably is. Yeah, the janitor. Yeah, he had like in his pocket, and he was just like, oh, "I'll show you. I'm, I'm gonna bring it in next time." And he came in, put salt dust on some throw up, and then handed out the the cross. But uh, yeah, no, there's no way, dude. That like people people would have that. So if Jesus was hung on the cross, would you right, travel back to that time? Would you like take yeah. that risk? Could you imagine seeing an actual crucifixion of Jesus Christ in person? But that's the How thing. Wild back that then, would be? you fuck around and do anything wrong, Pontius Pilate might say you're next, and I'd be like. 2021 <laughs> and just erase and be gone and they would, it would fuck off human history forever yeah i guess you would and they, they just killed jesus i'm the real fucking guy out of here so you just, that would no, blow their minds if you went back to a time period like that you could proclaim to be jesus easily because you would be so much smarter than everybody if i could go back in time that's exactly what i would do now if i could go back in time and i had like the i had the ability to like go back that quickly once jesus got crucified i would be like Jokes on you! You got the wrong fucking guy, and that would just be gone. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just be gone, and it would leave them all stunned. Been all over churches. Yeah, they would have. They would have left them all stunned. They would have never known forever what was going and on. And then how crazy? <laughs> how crazy? Yeah, how crazy would it be when you got back to 2021? There's every church be would be you yeah. everywhere. And I came back from the dead. Every I just church up would be nowhere. you everywhere, and all and all of religion would be changed to the story from, oh God was just. Crucified, buried, rose from the dead, ascended back to heaven. That would be perfect. To though. they got the wrong guy, and he traveled back in time. Yeah, and then I then, then, then I show back and up in twenty twenty one, and then I'm alive in twenty twenty one again, and they're like, "Oh my god, he's back!" And then I'm God. That would be no limit. Yo, that's like a weird ass thing. Like, that's a weird part of time travel that nobody's ever thought about yet. Why well, just acting to be God? No, that if you did that if you did that I'm just trying to think that is just like a mind fuck if you did that like you would re be returning back to 2021 right yeah. but the story that everyone tells would be they got the wrong guy and, and, and vanished, the real guy vanished. vanished oh they wouldn't know you went back to 2021 they no. wouldn't know yeah that you punched I would have right, right. if that's the case I would have just showed back up in 2021 again so like all that recorded history, where did this guy go? And then I show back up in 2021, like I'm back. And it would just blow all the current day people's lives. Like he's real, what? <laughs> and it would just send a whole nother frenzy out there. Yeah. Time travel is definitely, could change the, could Do you like think it's, do you think it's a possibility or you no. think it's already real? No. no. You don't think it's possible? Not at all. You don't think it's possible? It's no, it's, it, it is a no limit concept, but it is in no way, shape or form possible. It's just not a thing, bro. It's just not. It's just, you can't. You can't wrap your head around it. can't do it. I bet you it's possible. It's not, I though. bet you it's possible. If I could, like, you if I really could, like, think, bet money and, like, find do out. Do you really... think that the year 1776 is going on right now somewhere? It's not. It's just not. You don't know that, bro. <laughs> I don't know that. And I what I do know is that I'm a person who always says stuff like that, where you're like, you don't know. But you I feel like... When it comes to saying, is the year 1776 happening somewhere right now? It's a hard no. It's a hard no. Now, I agree that it's, like, far-fetched. And, like, it's it's probably not going on. But, like, considering the fact that we know nothing about the universe or, like, why it exists or, like, what it, or what its actual purpose is. Yeah, you can't Or say. what we can accomplish, you really can't say that it's not possible. Because we have no idea. Just like you said last week, how am I going to sit here in this room and not be there? And say it ain't yeah, happening. Not and say it's not happening because I don't know. I'm only I only know what's going on in, the, in these walls. <laughs> we could be, I th well, I think dimensions definitely exist. Isn't it crazy that like everything that's here right now is only because it's the way you perceive it? Yeah, it doesn't exist when I leave this room. When I leave this room, only what exists, what's going on in my head, exists. You know what I mean? 
that's not actually true but that's like that's how you live everyday life if it's not funny it's, it don't exist pretty much we always end up tripping people out by the end of this pod for the second season so far i feel like every last topic we just end up making if you're fried watching this your mind is twisted and bend it and falling out your ears right now yeah i mean it should no, because I, I hit you with that god one that was a good one that got okay. me. It's in the middle of me saying, I was no like, damn, I would definitely case, want to do No that. limit podcast, no sin in God case. You heard it from the beginning. Damn, we did start off with a little bit of this. It all comes around. Full circle. It really does. So I guess that's it. I feel yeah. like we've come. Yeah, I think that's a good stop. This is point. our life cycle of this podcast. <laughs> I'm going to go back in time and be God. All right. That's been a No Limit podcast. What episode is this? Three? Three of season yeah. two. Three. With 14 total. See you next week. No limit. Peace.